A lot of fear being injected into the market. What's going on team? It's Ricky with TechBit Solutions. In today's earlier video, we talk about why you should be prepared for a quick change of direction. And that's exactly what we saw today. I want to share with you the NASDAQ movement today. This is QQQ. At one point, we were you know, trending, hitting highs of 272, almost 273. And then a quick change of direction right around 1 p.m. Eastern time, we saw the market aggressively sell off. There's a couple different things that's going on, right? Obviously, midterm elections on top of that we have up and coming cpi data report that's going to be on thursday one hour before the market opens i will be live streaming it for free here on my youtube channel so make sure you, you subscribe but the other thing that not enough people are talking about it's this issue that's going on with ftx ftx is a crypto exchange and it's experiencing some liquidity issues and it's really bad for bitcoin uh, as it's a major exchange, right? And because of that liquidity issue, it's trying to get acquired and Binance came in with a acquisition deal uh, to acquire FTX. Don't know why, I don't know enough about crypto, but it sent crypto on an aggressive drop, right? If we look at this on the one minute time frame, I mean, we're talking from 20,600 all the way down to lows of 17,100 at one point. Now we're at 18,500, insane, right? So if you think that it was a crazy move that we saw with the NASDAQ market, no, I mean, crypto itself is, is hurting right now, right? We're talking about huge, just, probably billions of dollars wiped out in that crypto market. And a lot of these different exchanges are making it very expensive to take out any money. So very unfortunate on that crypto side of things. From the reminder, I do not create, uh, trade crypto. I, I don't have any crypto trading app or, or platform. Those are all fake. Um, I focus on one thing and that's the NASDAQ market, but I'm so grateful that we talked about these quick changes of direction, right? We have midterm elections. A lot of volatility is gonna be instilled in the market because of that. We have CPI data report on Thursday, and now we have this issue going on with Bitcoin. Bitcoin now is so big that it can influence other major markets if it aggressively drops or aggressively pushes up. And today, what we experienced was an aggressive drop. The market quickly began to rebound, but now we're trading sideways. And if we look at this on the one hour time frame, we're right around that moving average. So tomorrow will be a defining moment to see if we actually break above and or if we start to head right back down to that 258 support. Regardless of what ends up happening, remember, this is why we stay cash. This is why we prepare not for best case scenario but always for worse right the only people that freak out when the market pushes up or when the market drops are those that did not prepare one of the best things that you can do to prepare is to simply stay cash especially during a very uncertain time so again if you have any questions whatsoever you can always hit me up via discord that's that first link in the description or send me a direct message via instagram and that's that third link down below i can't stress this enough right disney reported earnings today and so did amc i actually have to follow up with amc i want to laugh very quickly now it's not actually not that much of a movement it gapped up five percent on the day and then gapped down five percent so it's pretty much break even on the day not much going on there and then also disney reported earnings today uh to my understanding tomorrow is a pretty significant day and there it goes disney also selling off so earnings are not looking good for any of these different companies that are reporting as of right now we have cpi data report and based off of october reporting uh oil went up and oil was one of the largest contributors right uh our our thing is we're never here to predict the future because we know that we cannot uh but it's not looking good for the cpi data report a lot of people are expecting for cpi to come in hotter than expected and that means that if it does the market will most likely react in a negative way again i'm going to be live streaming that um cpi data report on thursday all you literally need to do is click that subscribe button and turn on your post notification so youtube alerts you when it is that i go live other than that i will see you guys on the next video if you're part of my learn plan profit team i will see you tomorrow at market open make sure that you set your alerts especially for nasdaq futures and to see if we gap up or gap down by that pre-market session so really do appreciate guys time hope that we earned your thumbs up uh, please consider subscribing and if you're ready to watch me trade live click that second link down below and i will see you tomorrow at market open for our live trading session like always let's make sure that we in the year on a green note take it easy team